Welcome to Graph Tutorials, I'm Shiva and in this quick tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can crop your images in Adobe Illustrator. So when you want to crop an image in Illustrator uh, you have two ways of doing so and it will be different if your object or your image is linked or embedded into Illustrator. Now you can see in my layers here that it mentions linked and most of the time your image will be linked so if you just drag it into illustrator then it is linked if you use the um, file place option then you really have to untick the box with linked if you want to immediately embed it um, it's not saying that you cannot crop when it's linked that's no issue at all the first thing you have to do when you want to crop an image because as it's now you don't see an option to crop or whatever if you go to object then you see the crop image is grayed out um, to fix that it's really easy you select the image you want to crop and as you can see now here on top you also get a button with crop image and you get a button with embed image we'll leave that one as it is for now and also if you go to the object then you see crop image isn't grayed out anymore. Now, when you crop image using the button or the object, uh, when it's selected, then you will get a message that you need to embed a file or that it will be embedded as soon as you crop it. That's no problem. So when you press OK, you get the crop option. And you can now drag the handles to wherever you want them to be in order to crop the image to the size and the form you want to have it. Now you drag it, you think it's okay like this, and you don't see anywhere to click to confirm it because you have to press the enter key on your keyboard. And now your image is cropped. So really easy, really simple. You just have to select the object image you want to crop and then you get the options to crop it available. Quick and easy tutorial. I hope you liked it. Please be sure to let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I'll try my best to find um, answers to those questions for you. If you liked the video, also be sure to press the thumbs up button and maybe consider clicking the subscribe button with a little bell icon if you want to see more. But for now, stay healthy and creative. And I hope to see you in the next one.